Fuck you. Hello? Oh my. Oh, Oh, that thing fell over, right. Fuck. Whoa! What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Whoa, fuck! Fuck, 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 Oh, this one got me fucking good. Keypad code tip is in drawers, teleport room is gone, okay. Like, hey, Jug, can you close the game real quick? I'm going to push an update out. <laughs> Code is in drawers. All right, I'll check the drawers. Go ahead. That's... I was like, oh, there's a shadow here now. Boom. It was uh, it was rough. Keypad codes in drawers. So I'm going to... What the Shit. fuck? Cool magic trick. Hey, yeah, you know, sometimes... Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, you fuck! That motherfucker was hanging around the corner. And now he's gone. Oh! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Reinforcements would arrive. My task was to find as many clues or clues as possible in order to understand why everyone was dying here. For keyboard cat reigns supreme. It's true. Fucking tree. <laughs> so we're just looking for some gas. That's it. Just need some gas. Oh, this is gonna need a key, won't it? No, it's just a dead end. Alright, well, that means at least I know where I need to go now. Over to this marionette of a human being, I guess. Oh, wait, unless this can open. Nope. Nope. Fuck me. How did I know that? May I take the key from you? <laughs> Welcome to the Come Talk. Only come inside anime girls. Quivering clit, double jointed pussy, fresh plastic type. All right, this one, I guess. <laughs> Fucking god damn it, asshole. Fuck. Game saved. Cool. Now move in. Now move out. There he hands is. up. Now hands down. Back up. Back up. Tell me what you're gonna do now. Breathe in. Now breathe out. Hands up, now hands down, back up, back up, tell me what you're gonna do now, come on, keep rolling, 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 uh, keep rolling, 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 what? Uh, how'd you find us here today? Jesus fucking Christ! Yes. Alright, enough of that shit. Zombieland rules for the win. Yes. It's locked. Okay. Oh my fuck. That note at the end of the hallway and something's gonna be right behind me. Read it. What the fuck noise was that? Fuck you, tree. Goddamn outlast. Ever since they arrived to our island, there's been an imbalance. I don't know what god they worship, but it isn't one that I care to know. They are obsessed with death. Uh-oh. Ha! Okay. Oh, my fucking god! <laughs> That's a good question, Liam. We were supposed to be having some kind of dumb service. Yeah. Definitely, that's what it is. I can't even go there right away. God damn it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.
All right, let's get chased by this dude. Oh wait, I don't have that key yet. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Hey, hey, oh my God. That. Hmm. Can't open anything else there. All right, that's one way to, you know, prepare a nice roast dinner. Fuck me, dude. Maybe bird. <laughs> okay. Damn, you are looking mighty fine, you remind of Simba. I, I don't get the joke, I'm lost. <laughs> Fuck. I almost threw my fucking mouse. Another six, so it's it's six 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 three eight. They're all still there, okay. What was the point of that room? Oh my god! What the fuck, man? I opened that before. I could probably get them back on using that electrical unit I saw. Nothing. Part of a note on the way in said there was a maintenance room on every floor. Fucking right there. there. Dummy. Was it six three? Oh fuck no. Oh! I expected. I expected. Uh, oh my god! What the Guess fuck? Who? What do you mean? Guess who? Don't be silly. Guess who? It's not possible. You're not her. Why won't you say my name? Don't understand why you won't say my name. You know my name. That was cool. Oh, in this game? Yeah. I have done this one, although someone closed that door. Um, I think there's another door over here to the right that I just haven't gone to yet. And that's one. No, it's this one. Wait, this is the. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my fucking god! I knew that was gonna happen! Oh, you fucking dick! The horny dog face. Look at this asshole. Fuck you. Oh my. Three, six, five, four. Oh, I got it. Fuck yeah. All right, I'm not as happy anymore. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. All right, now we run. The elevator. And there we go. Oh no, there's more? That used to be the first ending. 
Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Fucking Christ. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Oh, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? And that wasn't one of you, was it? Hello there. I didn't see anything pop up. This must be number four. Good timing, Polish. Oh, welcome in, everybody. Hope you're doing well. I know we usually play uh, a little bit more upbeat music, but uh, it was a very snowy weekend uh, for me here. Not a lot of snow, like two, three inches max. Um, but uh, Amanda's been sick. She got home from pet sitting on Saturday, sick as a dog, pun intended. And uh, I, I wanted to brew this weekend, and there was no way I could put a canopy out there with how windy it was and... I was like, okay, I can't do it this weekend. And it was just kind of like a, not a gloomy weekend, but just very much like staying inside, staying warm, and just uh, kind of some kind of some good mental health time too, just to relax. Mike is just a touch quiet. That doesn't seem right because I cranked it up earlier. Hold on. I have a, a now I know how to actually do this. As I do the wrong fucking thing. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, it dropped back down. Okay, how about now? Oh, it's much louder. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do this. Is that better? Is this better? This should be better. Okay, I'm sorry if I blew your eardrums out really quickly there. So there's, in Windows, the device property keeps resetting for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, I moved it up to 65 earlier because Knox realized and we have the same exact mic. So he's like, oh, dude, this happened to me after Clone Hero and it's probably what happened to you too. It like, so it must be a hot key or something that's lowering it to a certain level. Like it was at 47 right now. I had it at 60 when I was playing Tarkov with him earlier. So I don't know. It's very strange. But anywho. All is well. Uh, so it was an interesting weekend. I mean, it was great because I got to have today off. Um, any holiday is kind of a toss-up because um, I'm only one of two people that supports the product that I do. So for me to be able to get a day off, uh, especially a holiday, it's like, wow. Because uh, my colleague actually works out of the Netherlands. So by noontime, he's gone. See you later. <clears throat> so if I'm like noon till five it's just me and then anything that happens overnight um it's saved to the next day uh because we're not 24 7 support which is nice but uh so it's nice to have a few days off um even though the weather sucked i could didn't get to brew the wife's unfortunately sick just like a lot of just negative stuff it was kind of like eh, we'll spend some positive stuff out of it and uh i gotta say earlier i get up and i go and check in on her so I'm kind of hungry. I'm like, what can I get you? She's like, I just want some ramen. She's like, I think that, make sure I have a lot of good broth in there. I just, because my throat's starting to hurt. I was like, okay. So I'm making ramen, one package for her, one package for me. And I'm like, oh, I forgot. She got me a Christmas present and I've been so excited to use it. So it's a bowl that has a hole on the end of it and like a little like half pipe U on the other side for where your chopsticks go in and rest. And then there's... um a little soup ladle that you'd get at like any other ramen place. And that goes in there as well. But it's all baby Yoda from, <laughs> from the Mandalorian. I'm like, oh, this is fucking great. So I got to enjoy that this afternoon. Um, it was awesome. Also, a little side note. And, and this is a secret. I'm not supposed to tell you guys yet. But uh, I ordered uh, an audio splitter. So I can have two headphones receive the output of the game. And uh, she's shown interest and wanted to be on, uh, on stream at some point. I don't know when. 
but when at some point so shh don't tell anybody else but if you hear you know if you know you know not to i put that a lot higher than i wanted to I'm not trying to steal like arcade thunder that's their shtick but like she'd be interested in like in just hanging out I'm like that's pretty cool the only problem is like I'm going to have to give her a really shitty chair. Because <laughs> my desk is not very deep. It's a kind of a narrow desk, and this room's not a very big room. But maybe I'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Mrs. Jug. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe with the, the sexuality stepping up in the chat, all of a sudden there'd be a ton of people in here going, Hey! Who's the bitch? Urgh, you know, those fucking wackos that show up in Twitch all the time. I'm not talking about me. Riz, welcome in, my friend. How are you? As I very, very essentially put on chapstick. Mmm. Mmm. Whatever. Chapstick is literally crack for your lips. It's the greatest thing ever. I see you refuse to read hello. No, I honestly just, I saw your name and I was saying hi. A chunk of that went into my mouth. That was disgusting. <clears throat> so may I reiterate? Hello. Just teasing. <laughs> I know. I just have to, I have to keep adding gas to the flame. It's a terrible, terrible problem of mine. Um, but yeah, so we're just hang hanging out at the moment, listening to some Panopticon, um, which is funny for those who don't know Panopticon, um, this was a double disc CD. This particular disc was all like this style of Americana, like acoustic. There's some electric guitar that comes in on some songs, um, but just really cool, like chilling music, whether it's in the winter, like right now, whether they have a snow filled backyard and front yard and whatnot. Um, or it could be, you know, in the summer, I'm out back at the fire pit. It just kind of works at the two extremities of the year, which is cool. Um, but then the funniest part is that typically this band is actually a black metal band. <laughs> so the other CD is all of their bluegrass infused black metal. Um, so if that's your genre, check them out. If they're not, You'll like this album. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited about tonight. Uh, so our, my dear friend Dolly, she is the executive producer behind uh, Puppet Combo. Not Puppet Combo. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm looking at the main menu and it reminds me of Puppet Combo and I wanted to tell you guys that. It's the executive producer of Channel 13 Horror. <laughs> God. Um, she tagged me on Twitter uh, this game drops, and I was like, oh, cool. And I just clicked on the link, looked at Steam, and I watched it, and I was like, cool, Cannibal Abduction. This looks pretty cool. And, oh, yeah, it's like the, it looks like an old Resident Evil 1 style of game with, like, stationary cameras that slightly move to the left and right as you, you know, move across. And as you moving, tank controls, all that jazz, and I'm like, classics. I love this shit. It makes it so much more difficult and kind of scary in its own way, too, or at least anxiety-inducing. Um, but I see the, the developer's name and I'm like, I feel like I know this name and I clicked on it and it turns out he did one other game and we have played it. It was Night of the Scissors. I think we played this in November, like a week or two after Jugtober and I really enjoyed it. Knox went and played it too and he also very much enjoyed it. So I ended up grabbing a copy of it. I think it was like six bucks or something. Um, because I loved the the first game they made. I don't know if there's any connection here. Uh, it could be a completely different prod uh, project. It could be uh same universe. I I don't know. Doesn't really explain that much in there. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking at it and it looks like a uh, an old VHS like VCR menu, blue background, white front, corny. Um, it's actually kind of obnoxious because it, it reminds me of like the fade of the white on blue and it's just bothering my eyes. 
So hopefully uh, I get off this menu soon. But besides that, um, for those of you that were able to make it last night for the watch party um, for Train to Busan, thank you. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, we're trying to discuss what to do next because I want to do another watch party. It may need to be um, while I'm on call, which sucks. Um, but I'm curious if like you know, what we're thinking about in terms of what movie and people were interested in Peninsula, which is the sister film uh, to Train to Busan. It's not a sequel. It's not a prequel. It's the same universe. Like, I think it's supposed to be like 10 years later or something. And it's a completely different story about how a group of people are trying to get into Korea to like get some, not like treasure, but there's like a container I think they had to get, like a shipping container that had stuff in it that they didn't know about. Um, and obviously it's them like fighting their way through and out uh, and trying to survive in this zombie infested Korean, you know, city. Uh, so it's a very different movie from Train to Busan, which is like everything just happening at once and it just starts. So I don't know. We could potentially watch that. Maybe people won't be as interested because technically you don't want to go in thinking it's Train to Busan too. Like, no, it's not. It's a completely different type of movie. Um, and a couple other, you know, names have kind of flown by. We joked earlier about Hereditary and Midsommar, but um, I don't know. Anybody that has anyone that has any ideas, um, obviously float them through the Discord. And if you're not in the Discord, please do join. I just heard treasure. That's fair. I love the films, but they are so intense. They really are. That's why I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm not gonna show like martyrs or inside. Like these French horror films that are out there are fucking oof. Ooh, but anywho, um, shit, it's almost already, it's almost already 930. Um, I'm ready to begin this game as much as I enjoy listening to this shit. Uh, it's time to get fucking scared. Let's go do that. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm just gonna play on default cause I'm a fucking bitch. I don't do, I don't do hard mode on this channel. <laughs> I'm looking to beat a game and just move on. <laughs> so you get that that VCR VHS. Man, I've been needing this for so long. Pop didn't even notice. Too busy on the bottle as usual. What the fuck is this? Hell yes, just the road and I. <laughs> just the road and I. What the no, 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 baby, don't do this to me now. Shit. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Great. Well, how to partner. Day to end up stranded, huh? Oh, thank God. Could I get a lift? This heap of junk just died on me. Sure thing, son. But I wouldn't leave your vehicle out here. That's asking for trouble. My home's just over yonder, and lucky for you, this old man's a mechanic. We could tow her to my garage. Would you? Mighty kind of you, sir. Grab some rope and tie it good and tie it to the Wait, truck. Wait, if he has a tow truck, why don't we just go, no, can you just tow me to the mechanics and I'll pay you? Like, I don't want to go to, I don't wanna go to your fucking house. But I guess Welcome it seems convenient, bar, so why would sir. you say no? Must be pretty boring around these parts. <laughs> You would be surprised. Some things happen out here folks wouldn't believe. You yeah, won't fucking All believe right, it, partner. Let's pop hood and take a gander. Take a gander. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> the engine's in a right mess. Pop's gonna kill my ass. Don't oh, worry boy. yourself now. Hmm, I'll make you an offer. I see you got a toolbox in your back seat. Mm -hmm. The old lady's been bugging me to fix an old wardrobe for weeks, but the garage has me busy as a cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> You ain't no mechanic, that's for sure. Wow. You a carpenter by trade? My pop's profession. I know my way around to hammer and nail. Sounds like we have a deal. Come, let's get inside. Welcome back, Noxler. He's missing a hand. He definitely is. What the fuck was that? After you. 
So yeah, he definitely is. Is this the wardrobe? It sure is. What a should be easy work for you, rat. I reckon I'll have this done in an hour. <laughs> there the boy. I'll get to fixing your vehicle. It'll run better than ever. Oh, before I forget, the wife listens to her favorite radio station around this time. Don't want to annoy the old goat. Better keep the door closed if that's all right with you. Sure, man. All right, let's get to it. Five second showers. Yeah, no, I need I need a few minutes. Chloe better booty. <laughs> okay. The job is almost done. I Man, it's getting dark here. Does this old house have energy or even lights? I'll ask the farmer if he has something to light this place. Otherwise, I can't finish. Okay, so I have to use tank controls. Awesome. Shift. Yep. You interact with E. This thing can wait for now. How strange, the door is locked. Anybody there? Nobody answers. Maybe I have something to open it in my toolbox. Creepy as fuck. <laughs> Useful for clipping hair or unlocking cheap locks. Awesome. How fucking convenient. Elna is bay. Who would have known? Oh, do I have to... Yep, okay. Yeah, long showers are the way to go. How convenient, a flashlight. <laughs> Jesus. Love to see it. Council of Ass approves. Quick flash to reveal items that can be grabbed. Keep in mind that Henry's easier to be noticed while the flashlight is on. Well, then why do I want to... Turn it on, then. <laughs> Fuck. Is there a way to, like... Oh, thank God. Okay, good. I'm like, I don't want to go to the menu every time. That's fucking torture. I love the dialogue in this so far. <laughs> it's pretty good. You know, the night you're leaving for town. We'll be back later tonight. Great news. I have a nice young stray locked in Fred's bedroom. Take care of it as soon as possible. Don't play with the food. Oh my god. We're fucked. <laughs> he locked me in that bedroom on purpose. Don't play with the food. What the hell are these weirdos talking about? Seems like I'm alone by now, but I don't have much time. I must get the fuck out of here. It's locked. It can be opened with a common key. All right, good to know. Knob is missing. Okay. Seems like the glass is armored. I gotta hurry up. I'm getting. It's getting dark outside. Yeah, bro, you went to the wrong spot. This is a good lock. I won't be able to lock pick it. The key that opens it must be around. Okay. So everything's, I figured it would be like that, but I just want to double check, make sure. So made by the guy who did Night of the Scissors. I really enjoy that game. Don't think I have seen Night of the Scissors if you streamed it. I wasn't there. I think it was right before he did Subnautica, actually. I think that's when you guys uh, popped in for the first time, if I believe. You and Condor. Maybe there's something in here. Does the fucking things for me. What's that? Oh, apparently nothing useful. I don't know which door I'm supposed to go. Which way is the correct way? Nope. I don't want to go that way at all. Thanks. Yep. Uh, so that means probably this way. Also, the door that doesn't have... In, this is the entrance door. It's locked. Naturally. Great. Let me check the other door. Classic Ari Sound Hill game. It had some good scares too. Last time I got scared by a light bulb popping. Dude, every time light bulb is popping, I get fucking scared. 
Door is locked from the other side. Okay, so there's one door I can go into. And it's this one. A brand new VHS tape. You've got the VHS tape. Why are they always buying shitty light bulbs? Yes. <coughs> Use the VHS tape on the TV to save the game. Oh. Keep in mind that every tape has a single use. Use them wisely. Henry won't be able to save the game if there's a threat nearby. Cool. Dig that. Like, having to have a save to save a game. So awesome. I miss that. The clock is missing one of its hands. Okay. Okay, click on anything over here. No. What was that? The dirt looks human and overall the plant is in pretty good shape. Well, oh, they like their plants. That's good. Need a hammer to remove the nails. Okay. This way? The door is locked from the other side. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, right. I didn't come to this side yet. I'm like, uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> Maybe there's something in here. So look, what's that? What? Hey, hey, hey. Why do you put items in here and don't tell me what it is? Nothing useful. God damn it. The only dollar store. If this place has a dollar store, I'd be shocked. Lock seems cheap. I need to find something around to lock pick it. Cool. An old photo of a field. Cows are eating. Great. Of course, the kitchen's well lit. <clears throat> I don't have time for this. It's rusty, but still works. Okay. What the hell? That's a fucking arm. Yes, it is. I'm not touching it. The water won't come out. Okay. It's locked. It'll be opened with a common key. No. I'm not opening that fridge. <laughs> Fair enough. No, it's going to be some other jank 50 cent store or something. Eh, you're not wrong. There's nothing else I could do here. What about in this corner? I just took another plant that's in good shape. Okay. Well, fuck me running, Chadwick. An empty is dead cam. Man, I love this soda. Oh, there's a fucking chair. February 3rd. Before going to bed last night, I found Aunt Mary sitting by our living room radio alone. She was staring at the radio with a blank look on her face and turning the dial over and over like she was trying to find a specific frequency. When I told her goodnight, she ignored me as if she was lost in her own little world. Uncle Bob told me she had been up all night. Maybe I should ask her about it. February 4th, I couldn't help but ask Aunt Mary why she was up so late. As she opened her mouth to speak, she became overjoyed and giddy like a child. She told me, I finally did it. It's the radio you see. I can connect to it with the radio. It talks to me. When I asked her who it was, her sweet, joyful smile faded as that blank stare I'd seen last night returned, like her soul got sucked out of her body all of a sudden. I left her and we both ignored each other for the entire day. I'm starting to really worry about her. I think she needs to see a doctor. Good lord. That is not a good sign. So I'm not going to touch the radio because changing a sound, whether you're starting a new one or ending a one that's consistent, not stealthy. All right, so here's the bathroom. The water stinks. The bathroom was filled a while ago. Do I want to drain it? Will that make too much noise? Fuck it, let's do it. Looks like a key. Bronze key. Where did that noise come from? I think someone else could be in the house. You don't fucking say. Great. Plunger. I, I've shit myself already. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe there's something else here? Maybe. Oh, this nice little nudie magazine there. Piece of pizza. Nice. 
bandage. All right, so that's how you heal yourself. Good to know. Okay, that, you can't pick that up. What's this way? Door is locked. Oh, that must have been the bronze key. Oh. What's this? Henry's journal? Oh, it keeps all the items together. <sighs> so that's the bronze key I found on the bed. Maybe it works on another key, another door as well. Get the bandage. Okay. I just don't have um I don't have a hammer. I don't I can't resave it. Which is unfortunate. Maybe some other door around here I could unlock properly. Oh, like the one in the corner was locked, I think. I needed to no, I needed to pick it. So this probably won't work then. I can't use this here. Yeah, okay. I think I need a lock pick for that or something. So I wonder what is... Oh, no. I already went this way. Oh, doi. Back this way. Oh, yes. We're back here. That's locked from the other side. This is just locked. I doubt this key works. That would be the funniest game ever. Yeah, I didn't think so. Can't use it here. So maybe... No, that's the door I came out of. There was a, two doors down here were locked. Maybe the key works on one of them. Worth a shot, right? Can't use it here. Oh, the knob is missing. Right. I knew that. All right, cool. Uh, gla glasses, armored. Yeah, we know that already. What's this? February 15th. Uncle Bob was washing his truck in our backyard yesterday, which is strange as he usually gets it waxed and washed in town. I looked close, it became clear why. The front of the vehicle was a complete mess. The front bumper was hanging off. Radiator grill has some major denting to top it off. Both are covered in blood and what looked like small chunks of something stuck in the gaps. Oh, <laughs> Uncle Bob complains for days if the truck gets even a scratch on it, but he never mentioned it even once. And no one in the family brought it up during dinner. Yikes. Thank you for the lurk, Wheeler. Appreciate you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. February 25th. This shit isn't funny anymore. I was bringing the laundry basket down to the basement to load the washing machine. I noticed the entrance to the laundry room has been blocked off by a bookshelf and the washing machine disconnected. When I tried to push the bookshelf to the side, it wouldn't budge an inch. I probably asked for everyone for a reason and they all, all they do is ignore me. Every single day they ignore me. It's been weeks of this silent treatment bullshit. Is this some sick joke I don't know about? <clears throat> March 3rd. I forget the last time I've had a good night's sleep. I hear the radio almost every night now as everyone gathers around to listen until the early hours of the morning. I sucked down to get a peek at them, but as I got closer, I stepped on a loose floorboard. Suddenly their heads turned to look at me at the same time like a pack of wolves spawning their next prey. <laughs> oh, boy. They all invited me to join them. I just said frozen in fear. I was shaking so bad, I managed to refuse them and go back to bed. What's happening with my family? I'm not going crazy. Something is wrong with them. First it was Aunt Mary, and now everyone has lost their fucking minds. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I fear what will happen if they catch me snooping around, but I have to try something. I just need to wait for the right time. All right, so whoever's behind the door with the planks on it, it's probably that girl that wrote that note. Oh, my God. Pause not allowed. Hold to quit. You cannot pause the game. Wow. <gasps> Fucking let's go. That's big. I was just thinking to myself, I needed a tape. It's a gorgeous lockbox. Socket that opens that. I wonder if there's something around that could fit. Let's go look. Oh. Very nice. Gotta love hiding spots. Such a horrible lamp. Wow. Tapes are so shiny. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's the other side. I think that's what they're trying to tell me. 
bobby pin may come in handy to open some cheese holy fuck fry oh my god i'm gonna just shit myself Rude. I've got a bobby pin. Water won't come out here. I've shit myself already. Yeah, those things are said. And then this is the. I'm assuming they're trying to say like you need. It's a camera and nails on either side. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I have. I have to save it, and I can unlock a door as well. So I'm going to go back downstairs. That doesn't have a doorknob, so I can't even open it right now if I wanted to. <clears throat> All we got to do is go downstairs. I'm going to hit that middle door to the left of the flag. And then up here, we're going to round down... I I think it's, oh, this way. This is where we save it. Whew. I don't want to open another door without a save first. Oh, right, I had to go select it. <clears throat> All right. Now I can go unlock the other door because we can. He said that it's a cheap lock and we can probably pick it. Because we've already been downstairs and it, or yeah, down there or to the right rather, whatever, and that kind of loops around anyways. So we got to go this way. It's only a matter of time until we unlock the wrong fucking door. All right, let's try this first. It's a picture of Johnny Boy. I remember watching him live with the crickets when I was younger. Random. Probably place lights the room. Suspicious loose brick, but I cannot reach it. Good to know. There's a lot of little tricks around here. What do we got here? May 13th. I was playing with Daisy today. She's the only member of the family I can trust. She was so happy, wagging her tail and playing with her toys. Gave me comfort I've not felt in a long time. She me of when things were normal. Something is not right with her. It's her breath. She licked my chin and the stench nearly made me throw up. What the hell are they feeding her? It doesn't even smell like dog food. <clears throat> Yikes. What am I drinking? Good old Genesee cream ale, sir. Nothing special about it. Just a really nice, clear, crisp uh, cream ale that I can get 30 racks for like $18. Um, which is unbelievable. If you ask me. <clears throat> what is else? What is everybody else drinking? Or whatever you're doing. <laughs> oh, the the pumpkin one's really good. That's the it's a pumpkin pie ale. Has pumpkin, nutmeg, vanilla, maple syrup, lactose. It's really good. Oh, it's May 20th. I'm getting the hell out of this house. I cannot recognize my family anymore. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. A blood-soaked bandage wrapped around their arms, resting on the table with the blood still wet. They cut off their own fucking arms. Oh, so they did it. Uncle Bob grabbed my arm and placed a cleaver into my hand. He sat back down. They all looked at me. He asked me if I wanted to do it, too. I threw the cleaver on the table and ran up to my room. I have all my bags packed now, and I'm ready to leave this hellhole. Uncle Bob, Aunt Mary, Philip, I promise I'll be back with help. Please be safe, Daisy. I hope she made it. I might just grab some Jameson. Ooh, that's always a good choice. Okay. So yeah, this family's fucked. I don't know which way to go, left or right. Let's go to the right, it's closer. So I actually was thinking maybe we could try the left door first. You know, just for S's and G's. The pupper. Nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. What if I turn the flashlight off? We cool? No? Okay. All right, you don't like me? That's okay. You're very scared. 
Feed the dog first seems like a good plan. Yes, agreed. I don't know what you have. Oh, it's a doorknob. Nice. Okay. Oh my god! Where do I go? There's really nowhere to hide. Holy fuck. I just saved it. Short. Beware of the dog. Oh, they got close enough, I guess. Oh, I saw the tape. It didn't go. It didn't go. How do I feed the dog? I gotta find food somehow. Wasn't there a kitchen? Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh, God. God. Wasn't there a hiding place somewhere? Yeah, he does. Oh, right here. Are you serious? Holy fuck. Okay. Where's the fucking dog food? God damn it. Good question. Can't do anything about that. I don't know where the hammer is. I check his his drawers. No, wait. I check this though. Nope, I can't. Okay. Nice and quiet now. Maybe he went to go hide for a while, go take a nap. He did a lot of walking. I think he deserves a nice nap. I don't have a common key, right? No. I just had the. Uh, the bronze key, which has all been used up now. Oh, what the fuck? Picture of a ram posing by the side of a tree. This thing, you idiot. My father's hammer. I didn't need to come back and check my own room here. Oh, yeah, we never went through this door. The door is stuck. Oh. Now I can open up the, uh, the hammer locked doors. Which is just going to get me through to the other side. But hey, that's a circle. You know, now I can run in a complete circle up here and try to lose him rather than going up here and hopefully getting here before he does and hiding before he comes through the door. Very well done. Yeah. Pull his nails right out. Clink, clang, clink, clonk. Fantastic work. See? Boom. Perfect. Now we have a complete circle. I can enter either door 
run in a complete circle and go back downstairs to get away from the villain. We don't know who, we don't know who it is. He's wearing like an executioner mask, or it appears that way. The other hammer, I think I need to go downstairs. No, I've made a little bit better. <laughs> Pretty much. So there's nothing in here? Oh, wait. I can feed in the hand. Touch it. Don't be a dick. Little fucking bastard. Pick it up and throw it to the thing. You can change it. I don't know if I want to do that. That's going to attract him over, I think. Oh, right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Another place to hide. Common key. Is this the common key? Damn it. April 14th, Aunt Mary and Uncle Bob won't be back from their trip until tomorrow, and Philip shouldn't be a problem. Almost every day when the clock strikes 8.45 p.m., Philip goes to the basement. We don't see him until the next day. He's been doing this for weeks. I'm counting on him doing it again today. I'll update later if I find anything. Update. As soon as I heard the basement door shut, I rushed to the radio. I wasn't sure what I was looking for. I started twisting the dial just like Aunt Mary did that night. I can't fully explain what I found, but some channels had strange sounds I've never heard before. It sounded like some kind of animal singing, humming. It kept repeating the same three patterns in the same order. I couldn't, I could tell because each pattern had a distinct tone and length. Is this the it my family talk about? This makes no sense. I can't hear it say anything. I just don't understand any of this. Fuck. So I'm supposed to fucking play with that fucking radio? This is crap. Give me the fucking key. Oh, another place to hide, though, so that's at least decent. Such a horrible lamp. My heart literally skipped a beat, and the first thing I could do was just look over. And it's your name. How dare. I should save it here, though. All right, it's actually working this time because I didn't do this before, and it, oh, you know why? He was nearby and it didn't let me. Okay, I was gonna say I thought I wasn't be able, I wasn't able to do that. All right, we did downstairs. All right, I think we should really try the radio. I don't want to go down in the fucking basement, especially if there's supposed to be somebody down there. Shut up. Wait. Oh, the radio was the other, was the radio the other way? Maybe not. Fuck it. Let's go see what happens in the basement. I just saved it. Fucking found the common key. Unbelievable. The water is not flowing. I need a valve to restore the flow. I don't want to fix their plumbing. Who would leave all these good books? Who leave all these good books in the basement? How strange. Nothing interesting in here. I can hide. Nothing else interesting here. Get the fuck out of here. That was a creepy fucking basement, but I'm glad I went there. Because now we can unlock the remaining doors. Well, except for the knob one. 
shut the fuck wait. Ooh. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, that was the closest one. I didn't feel like running back down into the basement because to get to the basement again, it, it, I had to go through them. So I just turned, I had a 180 and just turn around and this was the best option I had. <sighs> Fuck, that hurt. I can't look at my inventory while I'm in here. They really don't let you pause the game for anything. <laughs> yeah, this I think there's a third hiding place too. Um... I just can't remember where it is, but if I start, I'd be like, holy shit. <laughs> Alright, I never heard him come up. I, m I must have lost him relatively easily, which is good. I'm, we're a lot faster than he is. I need to knock it off. Is playing scary games more or less scary when you're high? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> and it probably adds to it. Maybe there's something in here. I would fucking hope so, because it was locked. A bandage. Okay, perfect. I'll actually take that. My pockets are full. I should leave some stuff in my toolbox. From it. Or I could just fucking do this. I feel better. <laughs> Voila. Dong. Okay. I'm just curious if they are more scared when you hire or not. Oh, okay. I think I just read it awkwardly. Um, they can be, or they can make them a lot more silly. Can I just use the common key, please? No? Okay. Figured I'd give it a shot. All right, let's start with... Uh... Oh, we know that brings me back to where the dog is. Let's actually head downstairs first. <clears throat> or down this way. I keep saying downstairs. It's not downstairs. All right here. <laughs> I thought he was behind me. I could have gone to the fucking basement too. I freaked out. I worded it weird. I'm really sleepy. No, it's okay. We got there, you know. Um, yeah, it, it definitely, it definitely can add to the, uh, um, the scariness factor. It is possible. And is the game getting too loud during those scenes for you guys? I just looked over and it was maxing out in like the yellowish area. But I just want to make sure if you were going to not let me know. I'm assuming you would have said something already, but. A bit loud. Okay. Okay, I put it down a little bit. Specifically the volume for you guys, not me. Because I think I've been smart enough to actually separate that all out. All right, we've already opened that up. I shouldn't be running. Need to save that stamina. Okay. We're so fucking close. Oh, that one I can't. That other one doesn't open. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, this is where I wanted to use it here. And right as I was about to, I heard him breathing. And I had no idea. There's a jug here. <laughs> Get it. My pockets are full. I should leave some stuff in my toolbox and come back. Or I can just fucking take another fucking bandage. 
She says, I'm going to try and resist keyboard cat. <laughs> God. Hi, Meg. How are you? You've got the jug. What's the jug for? Am I supposed to get water? Ah, yes. The radio. We finally made it back. I think this is it. They like fart noises. Nine fifty. That was fucking creepy. Fucking shit. a jug here. <laughs> Fuck off, dog. Where? Oh my god! To the door! Wait. 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 Fuck! Alright, damn it. Ooh! Common key, metal jug. I'm gonna put the hammer away because I haven't had to use it for anything. Just in case if I find some other new item I can pick up. This is like. Very similar to like your your stay out of the house, um, nun massacre, uh, dead cedar, like that same fucking style, but it just it just delivers. I don't remember which way I haven't been yet. Got to be a key I haven't used somewhere. Let me check in the basement. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Okay, fuck that. Yo, Van. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Holy shit. I did not expect him to be sitting in the staircase heading to the basement. That was... That was a bit much. Alright. I gotta find more places to use that key. But I'm not super certain on if I missed anything. There's got to be a way to get dog food to the dog. I've opened this one. Yep. Wish I had a map, but I understand why they don't have maps in this game. It makes it that much more terrifying. I'm going to head back down. No, I keep saying down. You don't have to touch it. Use 
The metal jug. Damn it. <laughs> this one sh we should have cleared. Yep. He's not opening the fridge. He already told us. Wish I knew what the fuck that did. Stinks. Yep. Sure it does. I know water won't come out of it. It turned off. I've already shit myself. Nothing useful here. How about in here? I haven't been in here in a minute. Oh, here we go. Maybe there's something in here. Hey! Can of dog food. Let's go. Let's go feed that little pooch. So hungry. That's not fair. I don't have any tapes, do I? I do not. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Shit. Ooh, I knew it. Fuck. Alright, I'm supposed to go to the bowl. Sitting against the wall. Here. Have your food. It's delicious. Look, mm, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Yeah, you, uh, you enjoy that. Doorknob, baby. Enjoy your dins. Damn, that dog was hungry. Okay, need to go back upstairs, down the hallway, and then the door on the right is missing a knob, which we now have on our inventory. No tapes, so I can't save it. Hopefully, whatever's in here can just help. It's going to be a key to get out. And that's it. Just a key to get out. So that door right downstairs. That's it. That's all I need. Game over. It's been awesome. Great. The last attic I was in and remothered wasn't too hot. I thought I could get back to a little secret spot or something. Oop, there's a valve. Let me do something with that in the basement. Okay. I can just walk off camera. Interesting. All right. Oh, another place to hide. That's nice. Seem to have one every little while. What's this? Ah, new VHS tape. Now I can save. Except I can't because my pockets are full. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, right here. What's in here? If this is the last time I can use the key, it'll go away. Alright, it's a bandage. Uh. Uh. 
I still have the key. Wow. My vital signs are good, so I couldn't even use it if I got it. Shit. Alright, well, this is going to be got up here, but... Oh, we have to go to the basement. Right, 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 right. All the way down. We can get this done. I swear. We just have to fix their plumbing first. So, I can make a jug of water. Is that what they're trying to tell me to do? Because I'm going to turn the water on. I don't know what that's going to help with. Like, I can bring water somewhere. Is there a fire? All right. Think. Valve. Basement. Basement is this way. It's crazy how quiet it is. Until that happens. What the fuck? That was fucking mortifying. This fucking game, I tell you. It's good, don't get me wrong, but uh, my god. The mean shit. So, excuse me for a second. I know I just can't pause the game, I just had to take care of a. Problemo. There. Okay. All right. So again, we need to go to the basement. We were we were right in the room I needed to be. He just happened to be in the doorway. Wait. Did they say if we changed the radio, it'd make him go back down to the basement? Maybe that's why we keep seeing him. No, we didn't keep seeing him there. We're seeing him in other places too. I don't know. <sighs> Oh, and of course, I, I'm just hitting the clip button, by the way, just so I don't lose track that I have something. Because I don't want to rely on all of you to be able to do clips. But if you ever want to do a clip, and I, you've seen I've done one, make one anyways. I'll probably end up keeping yours. Because it'll be more specified rather than a random 30-second grab and a default title. <laughs> Two separate from the rest. One is about exotic cooking recipes and the other about human anatomy. Jesus. The dog's going to fucking town still. Please don't. <laughs> Plumber achievement unlocked. Cool. All right. So I can get a mug of water. I guess. If I really want to. Nope. I fucking hear him. Nope. Can we not do the Demogorgon right now? Holy fuck. Thank you for the bits, by the way. I just want to go to the attic. I could have actually gone all the way to the attic, too, but I would have panicked if I didn't remember exactly where the closet was. 
Remus, what's up? Welcome in. How you doing? The other question is, who removed the valve and brought it all the way upstairs? Uh, clearly someone who does not like to bathe. I don't know, probably Knox. The man just took a shower. I can grab my tape. Nice, that is full. I could still use that key somewhere. She don't have to work. I, I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so okay. we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot fetish. Yeah, I have a foot fetish. Um, God, yeah, Remus, you just you were telling me about the last time I talked to you. You're getting a new job. You're about to start one. Eight forty kilohertz. Hello there. Well, hello there, Zinian. How are you doing? Welcome in. So I'm about to say I love you, and also this is too scary for me to actually watch. Oh, heavy. Stop it, dude. You just... I was beating the shit out of his ball you bag. beating the shit out of his ball bag, and you were doing it really well. I just... <laughs> Things are great. Things are wonderful. Um, so we have to go to the radio and put it to 840 kilohertz. So that's the whole point. What a handsome zoom. No, you. Get the fuck out of it. How do we... Oh, you have to actually submit one. Okay, good to know. Um, okay, so we need to go back to the radio and do... Was it... Shit, was it 850? No. Sure, I didn't just forget. 840. 840. You know what? Wait, let me just try 840 first. You can't do 840. You have to. There's no zero. Okay. <laughs> 840. 840. We're going to get it done. I can feel it. We're going to get it done. But what will that give me in that room? I don't know. This way. It's like in the opposite corner from here. Especially as the jugs roast with a side of veggies and paired with a red wine. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm getting four or five eight out of that. We need weird creature translate. No, I'm counting the the bursts, the different sounds and orders. I got four or five eight. I want to go try four or five eight. Also, I can save the game. Fuck. <gasps> Fucking shit! Wrong way. God damn it. Stuck. Oh, he's coming upstairs. Oh, God. I can't. There we go.
Four five eight. I think I remembered. Okay, we're good. So four five eight door is over. Well, hopefully it's the four five eight door is over here. Can I just maybe get my flashlight back on it? Thank you. Four, five, eight. Let's fucking go. First try. What is that? Looks like a rope. My pockets are full. Of course they are. I should leave some stuff in my toolbox and come back. This is bullshit. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 63. Nice full of moisture. It smells like rotten meat. May 21st, woke up in the attic. I can't believe my own family did this. As a kid, I used to hide here when I was bold. Now I'm trapped here. They want me to cut my arm off. Fuck that, I won't do it. I won't give in. Dear God, save me. May 24th, I'm so hungry. Uncle Bob offers me a plate of food every day, but I refuse. The sight of it makes me want to puke. Bob says it's pig meat, but I don't believe a word he says. I know it's human. May 26th, I'm so fucking weak. I couldn't resist anymore. I'm so hungry. I ate it. it tasted fine. Was he telling the truth? Is it pig meat, or am I so hungry I can't even tell anymore? I don't know what to think. I feel like I'm losing it. June 20th, Aunt Mary came to wish me a happy birthday today. She gave to me a bundle of rope. Is she giving me a way out? I broke down crying as I hugged her, begging her over and over to let me out of here. It was useless. She just smiled at me and left the room. I'm a burden to them. They can't let me leave, but some part of them can't kill me themselves. Shall I... I think it's the 23rd. I'll even matters anymore. I refuse to use this rope. I've been holding this knife for what feels like hours. Maybe if I just give them what they want, maybe I could have a chance. Well, it looks that way. Because there's blood all over the fucking floor. Fuck. Alright, so we need that rope for something. Disgusting. Thankfully it's clean. Great. Alright, so I need to go and drop something. Oh, I can go and save the game still. I haven't done that yet. That's a lot quicker. No, Daisy. <laughs> Poor Daisy. Yeah, someone tells me she hacked her arm off, and they probably heard her screaming and stuff, so they came up, and they grabbed her, and they took her somewhere to initiate her, maybe. I don't know. But also, what day is it today? Are we actually that close to... uh? when they pulled her out. There we go. Woo! Man, the limited inventory? My word. All right. Let's go back up. Let's go grab, um... Whatever the fuck that... The rope. Maybe I can, like, scoot out a window that way. What window? I don't know. There's uh, quite a few of them. But I'm sure there's gonna be a window that works. Do you think Daisy is the killer? No, she mentioned that someone's down. I think it's Philip lives downstairs, and like it's like her brother or whatever, and he's already like lost it. Because it definitely wasn't the uh, the uncle. The uncle's not that big. You got the rope. Great. Can I use it here and climb through? No. Okay. Fantastic. Um, nope. Nope. I saw him standing there. Son of a bitch. He's certainly coming in here. Yep. Fuck. Yep. To have high, high hopes for a living shooting for the stars when I couldn't make a killing didn't have a dime but I always had a vision always had high, high hopes had to have high, high hopes for a living didn't know how but I always had a feeling I was gonna be that one in a million always had high, high hopes.
Hello, Satan. How are you this evening? <laughs> so if you recall Night of the Scissors, this is the developer's second game that just came out uh, a couple days ago called Cannibal Abduction. We've been abducted by uh, a cannibalistic family. And we're trying to escape. Oh, cool. Indeed. So he was up here for a reason. I think he was blocking the window up here to get out. I really do. What do you mean nothing interesting? Motherfucker. If you look in the background from here, look. There's a circle, like a circular window over to the right up there. That scared the fucking life out of me. Fuck you, creepy. <laughs> you finally got me. <laughs> they can make a super gooey version called Cannabis Abduction. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> How are you on this lovely day? Alright, so where do I go now with this rope? And the mug, what do I, am I filling it up with water? If so, what for? Just so confused. I'll go this way this time. That dog's still going to fucking. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Must resist keyboard cat. Stop. Oh, you know, changing a few things in here for the big day. How's you? It's big day. Oh, of course, you gotta change it last minute. Um, I'm doing good. Just chilling. Well, trying to chill, but being chased by this fucking cannibal, which is awesome. I guess. Uh, but no, no complaints. I mean, damn, I have to go to work tomorrow. But is that every day? It's not last minute yet. <laughs> no, but it will be. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, let's... Uh, let me try to get to the kitchen and see if I can fill this up with water. Now, what else do I have that may not be needed anymore? I don't know why... What do I still need this key for? I just... I don't want to put it away in case I need to use it. No, it won't. I promise this time. <laughs> hey, it's your event. You change as often as you want. Do your thing. Okay. Take our time. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Satan. That's the back door, which is already locked and the key doesn't work on. That's the basement. Not helpful. Here's the kitchen. I don't know why. You got the filled jug. Great. This isn't the demo, right? No, this is the game. It dropped it like two days ago. Okay, so that, yeah, it's the same thing there. So that's fucking curious. There's nothing to do in here. What is the rope using? What is the water doing? Filling jug in your OnlyFans? <laughs> wow. Maybe a weapon you could splash to kill you and they melt like a witch. True. Kind of boil it up too, I guess, right? Oh, wait, there's a tea set. Will that be helpful? No. Okay. I tried. Rusty, but still works. Can't use this here. Fuck. Okay. There's the last thing I could think of. Oh! Duh! 
There's a weird brick back here. Maybe it's like, well, uh, it's rusty, but it still works. Just like my peener. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, don't get me curious. I wonder what this button did. I'm checking the basement, dude. Let's go. I fucking knew it. Like, come on. Oh, shit. <gasps> I don't want to end that way either. For the family, cut limbs, put in refrigerator. For Daisy, remove bones, grind, put in cans. For it, remove organs, throw in the pit. Remember to bring the clothes and belongings to the backyard so we can burn it all. Holy shit. This place looks bad. You should leave. We've been trying to leave. Ah, oh, yes, the basin where the black sofa is mostly stored at. <laughs> Bookworm achievement unlocked. It must lead to the sewers. <gasps> The rope. All right, real quick. There's something else I can unlock here. I got the space for it. Probably just be a healing thing. No, what's that? Hexagon symbol? Okay. I don't really know what that's for. Look at this grinding material here. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yes, it's all human meat in that barrel. I could save it, but I'm, I can't pick it up. Fuck, I didn't even see that before. Why I didn't? I don't know. Opens from somewhere else. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's do it. Pitch black, should bring my flashlight before going down. I mean, yeah, it's in my hand. <clears throat> but I guess that's if you don't happen to have it, I suppose. Um... So assuming we come back up here, probably because the door behind us is going to open, I'll grab the tape then, only because I want to, I'm assuming there's no save point down there. There's no save point here, so that's the opposite of leaving. It is, but it's the only way we can go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not dead. I know it wasn't you. Timid. So fucking rude. Unbelievable. Why I never... Oh, oh. Thanks, Twy. Ugh. No, what? I, I got the water. <laughs> we also got one of those pumpkin pie beers I was talking about. Pumpkin pie scraper from, uh, it's from uh, Night Shift, which is a big brewery out of uh, Everett, Mass. Like, it's in the Boston area. Pumpkin ale with vanilla, vanilla beans, excuse me, spices, maple syrup, and lactose. It's it's not bad. The more I drink it, the more I like it. Because it tastes like all of those things. <clears throat> ah, shit, I think my shoulder is broken. Yeah, it was close. I need to get out from this place and find help. Oh, lovely. I'm not climbing back to that place. I don't blame you. This sucks. Hopefully these guys don't come looking for me. But what if there's something worse down here? It's one of those good old locks. I won't be able to force it. Great. Well, that makes this decision easier which way to go. Is it really sweet? Um, 
No, it, it has some sweetness to it, but I wasn't. I wouldn't say it's really sweet. Just make sure there's nothing else over here. So yeah, okay. Down the well you go, it puts the lotion on the skin, or else it gets to hose the can. <laughs> For real, I can't figure out the. Okay, we go. I was fucking that up big time. Did you use the rusty key on something already? Um, yeah, the keys are already been used. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the key in my pocket. <laughs> Just walking on the street, you idiot. Oh, you're fucked. Dude, hide. Oh, it's the cops. They're probably in on it, right? Hey, kid. Are you lo- Jesus Christ, what happened to you? They- I ate them. They wanted me to. But I got away. What are you talking about? Who are they? Who did this to you? The, the Tuckers. Tucker Farm. They're crazy. Shit, this doesn't- Cops, I was in on it. <laughs> Get in the truck. I gotta get you to the hospital. Can you keep pressure on the wound? Yeah, yeah. I think. Just relax. Here. I'll turn on the radio. No, 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 no. You're safe now. Bonita! Creepy. The timing was excellent. The easy way. Achievement Unlock Survivor. That was fucking good. That was fucking good. He was definitely in on it because he turned it to that radio station and Creepy nailed that timing. Tomas Escanjargai? I cannot pronounce that last name. But yeah, I saw, to I saw Tomas Escon and I was like, wait, familiar. That was fucking good. This music rules too. First thing you hear on the radio. <laughs> Same guy who did Uncle Bob to the officers. Well, oh, Henry was the other guy. Yeah, okay. Oh, Kentucky. Oh, MXXN has done a bunch of this. Okay. Uh, MXXN also does a couple of puppet combo games. Pictures. Oh. Daisy sound effects, Romaine rope. Get some translations, that's cool. And they always list out their resources of like, hey, these people I use these uh, files from and whatnot. Love to see it. Escon Zorgi? Escon Zorgi? Interesting. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. This dude's two for two on fucking games that I played now. You see my message joke? Sorry, I was fighting someone. Oh my God, I'm in a Tarkov raid and thought that cop was someone voiping to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Boom. Unbelievable. <sighs> oh shit. I didn't actually want to do that. I want to do this. You didn't let you clip that part? I'll have to find it afterwards. So, I got a, I only got a few of the achievements. I got five of them. I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm looking and they're like, I have a foot pad. That's all right. Not let like you clip anything? That's fucking weird. Huh. I'm sorry about that. I wonder if there's something going on. Oh my god. One of the fucking... One of the achievements is to actually die. There's an achievement to die, but there's no achievement to beat the game without dying. God damn it. <laughs> Lies and slander. I like ass. Okay. 
Uh, undead reach the sewers without using bandages. Okay, I did use two, mainly to just make room in the inventory. <laughs> Finish the game on the hard difficulty, and then another hidden achievement after that. Hmm. Interesting. So, the question is now, is what's next? I get that blue screen off of my face. So I didn't, but if you find a tag on it, because I love it. Oh, absolutely. It was fucking fantastic timing. <clears throat> Death Watch? Death Watch was not in my, uh, my poll today, sir. I believe second place in voting went to Stories Untold. Voted on by Soma and Candy. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> True. Silence Channel? I didn't have it in the poll today. Um, we had Cannibal Abduction came in first. Stories Untold was second. Faith was third. And then Technically Remothered Broken Porcelain was fourth, but it didn't have any votes. <laughs> Confabulation. But yes, I am going to play that game soon. It's been on my desktop now for a while. I'm also really hoping we get more updates from Hidden Deep. I was just kind of looking up at that. And I really enjoyed that game, but it wasn't finished. And it's been an early access. But uh, I know they added some new levels. I just haven't played them yet. Um, but yeah, honestly, Nox, I would play Death. Like, Death Watch is a... I want to play it. I just keep forgetting I have it, first off. Second off, it's uninstalled on my desktop. So I'm not like, oh, yeah. Because I look there first. Um, but yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll get that into the rotation as, as well as Silence Channel too. The game made me pee a little, not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. Good to know. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll try Stories Untold. Let me just update my uh, shite here. Um. Here, stories untold. Ooh, yeah, sword diapers. If you can, when playing with that, <laughs> good to know. Oh, damn, this game is, uh, it's as basic as it gets. It's like Unity and has, like, the intro, not intro, but, like, the white box that pops up. You put screen resolution, your uh, graphics quality, there's, like, three choose uh, choices. Oh. Select which monitor, and there's an input tab of, like, every single thing imaginable. <laughs> Oof! Let's launch this puppy. Okay. Yeah, it's the juggernaut, bitch. That's me. Macaque 18 bongo. <laughs> Thank you, creepy. 100 biddies? It's awfully nice of you. Thank you. I hope that pops up the game now. It is Unity. I fucking knew it. Photosensitivity, epilepsy warning, everybody. Okay, cool. So there seems to be four, I mean, I know you can only see it like right here for now. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I enjoy having you here. So there are, there are four channels, it looks like, or episodes. There's the house abandoned, which is unlocked, and the other three are locked, so you have to probably do them in order. The lab conduct, the station process, and the last session. Unlock all levels button, okay. <laughs> We'll put subtitles on. You reset the save file as well. Interesting. Okay. 
Well, I think we are ready to give this a shot. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so this is Stories Untold, as it says here. Four stories, one nightmare. So, uh, we'll do the first one. I just said, hate escape anytime to pause, get a pause menu. I only I can only hear with subtitles on. <laughs> Damn. A no code production. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. This will be on Clone Hero soon enough. Your jam? That was dope. Okay. It's fucking loud. Can we maybe hire this up? The house abandoned. Interactive horror adventure. Can, I, can we please? Okay. You pull to the driveway of the family. <laughs> oh, dear. This is like FNA if I ain't playing it. I have no idea. You pull to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You were being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Um, look in glove box. The glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Okay. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read note. Notes from your dad and reads, hi, son. Hope oh, by the way, I've made one of these games before in high school. And some fucking asshole fucking ship deleted my entire folder from the server and I lost everything. I almost killed that kid. I really almost did. I think we've talked about that before on here. But yeah, I love text adventure games. They were so good back when I was like a young, young kid. You need to fire up the generator and run back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. All right, so generators are on back to get power and lights on. And then we have to remember to go to the attic. So in our room. Okay, press enter to continue. I'm just going to redo this. Okay. I love making games like these. So fucking cool. Nice, yo. Yeah, it, it, um, when I made I did ASCII art for it. Dude, that's sick. Yeah, th these, we I literally made it with... Um, I want to say it was Pearl and PHP, and that's what all it was. Um, what key do I have? Damn it. Okay. Um, inventory. Fuck. Okay. Um, exit car. You open the car door and step out. Okay. I had to do it all in C for a class. How about a hot sauce? Um, so I ask with every three uh, if they want to do a hot sauce or hold off until we hit to 10. Because if we hit 10, it's a guaranteed bean. Um, every three technically isn't a hot sauce. It just means that we're spinning the wheel, which is either going to have one of the nine hot sauces or eight hot sauces or a bean. So I give another way for people to get a bean automatically rather than just chance. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Go around back. Where would you like to go? Backyard. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go backyard. Okay. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Uh, start. Generator. Go backyard. No. Where is generator? God damn it. Thank you for being splaining. No problem. Go to backyard. 
look. Look for generator. Fuel gauge is healthy and is manually operated. Start generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Uh... Look for no. I'm gonna look for electrical cords. Uh, go front yard. Um, I'm doing open front. Oh, I thought it would show up later. Up, up front door. The door appears to be locked. You need to use a key. Use key. Insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step outside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark, you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Flip light switch on. You flip the switch and the lights come on. Okay, the hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to kitchen. Fat boys go to the kitchen first. You walk into the kitchen. Kitchen is tidy and well kept. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Search for knife. Damn it. Go to utility room. Utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay. Exit kitchen. Okay. Uh... Go to living room. Step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. What am I even looking for in here? I like that's what I'm not understanding is what am I what am I actually looking for? I just show up to my family home. Like, look around. There's nothing here of interest. Okay. Exit. Go upstairs. Stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Go to bathroom. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Search bathroom. Exit. What did the letter from your dad say again? Oh, we have to go to the attic. Thank you. And to start the generator out back, which we did. Um, go to my bedroom. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. I thought he said it was in the... Oh, oh he, he said it was in, in my room in the attic, I think he said. Uh, read dad note. Notice from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You need to fire up the generator on back to get power and lights on if we did it. Also found something in the attic. Oh, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Open gift. You interrupt the gift excitedly, naturally. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. For starting to continue. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus two computer. And a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up. Set up computer. Start computer. So wait, is this the future where I'm playing the game about my past? I'm so confused. What the fuck are we doing? So we're playing this this text game, um, but it's weird. It seems like the computer that we just found that we got in the in the game is the one we're playing on right now. 
build computer? Nope. Install computer? No. Just turn computer on? No, it won't do anything. Okay. Uh, exit. Back into the landing. Uh, I'm going to go to the sister's room now. Go to sister room. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Was that one of you? It was. Who was it? Fry. Your sister's room is in perfect condition. Untouched since the last time you'd seen her. Thank you for the bits, by the way. <laughs> Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drawn under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Search room. Okay. Lay on bed? Like... What do you want me to do in here? Look around. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Open wardrobe. Okay, so we have to remember that's the commands. Look around. It is empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Take photographs. They're all identical. A forest road at night, you put them back. Damn it. Photos of another time achievement unlocked. That's interesting. <laughs> Slash D system 32, then type delete. No, it's, it's arm dash RF star. Damn. That'd be pretty funny if they did something like that. Um, okay, exit. So I had to do look around in all the rooms that I haven't done yet. I may go back into my room and do that too, and the bathroom. Because before I wasn't doing it look around. A standard landing. There are picture frames covering one wall. Look at pictures. Philly photos and holiday snaps are happy family. Okay, go to bathroom. Around. The bathroom is clean. Large mirror sits above the sink. Uh, it may be a medicine cabinet. Open mirror? No. Okay. Look at mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. Exit. We did the bathroom. Step back onto the landing. Yep. Go to my bedroom. Get back into your room again. Look around. Standard bedroom, a desk, a wood grain TV, clock, the usual. Turn on TV? No. Uh... Examine computer. We'll try that. Nope. Damn it. Turn. Turn on. Future row. Jerk. Okay. Let's have to go leave and then go downstairs. Uh, go downstairs. Oh, wait. Go to attic. Okay, no, not here then. Go downstairs. There's another way to get to the attic then. Because that's what we have been to. Look at computer. I I think we kind of beat it to death. I think it's it's just the sense that it's there. Uh, we didn't actually look around in the kitchen. Hello? fuck's going on here? Why can't I type? Probably just help uh, text input commands include look at, go to, use, open, read, followed by the end location, name, mention, description, look at door, user, etc. I mean, I kind of figured out on my own, but good to know. I don't know why this isn't working anymore, though. What the fuck happened?
What the fuck? Is this supposed to happen? I really, I really hope I don't have to like start over. Yeah, I think something may have glitched. This sucks if it's broken. You just broke your computer with your computer. Noise. Yeah, let me, um... Sorry. Let me just take a look-see. Um online to see if this is something that's happened before and if there's a fix for it outside of a uh, restart or a reinstall because that seems to be everyone's go-to with things and i understand they are the best things to do but if there's a known issue and there's a way around it i'd like to know um stories untold um was the house abandoned Um, can't type. People are saying to clip on, to click onto it. Someone said the exact same thing. Same chapter one. After inspecting my sister's room and going back to the kitchen, it hung on weight. That's exactly what we did. This is from 2017. Twenty twenty is still happening. When I was in her bathroom, enter your sister room, enter my room, open gift, exit room, go downstairs, we won't let you type. Some guy actually got an easy repro. Use the key, open the door, go upstairs, look at the pictures and go down, you're stuck. Twenty twenty two, it's still happening. Uh, Jesus, as of November twenty two, there's still an issue. They still haven't fixed it. Wow, there's nothing. Yeah. This is bizarre. Yeah, it's definitely not letting me click in here at all. All right, let's do quick to main menu. Um, I want to try once more, but we will immediately go upstairs. Yeah, I mean, from what people were saying, it was like version 1.0.1. So they released it and immediately dropped it. Which is too bad because this this song fucking rolls.
Yeah, very unfortunate. Oh, my spirit no longer want to cry. Why? What happened? Fuck, I forgot this starts over again. You fucking troll. Uh, so I'm just going to try to get through this as fast as I can. <clears throat> Go around back, we'll turn the generator on. Zone him, you bastard. Welcome in, buddy. Hey, buddy. Outside door is directly to my right. I freaked. Oh, God. I said that because the last song was sad. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I listen to sad boy music quite often. You gotta deal with me. <laughs> but look, I never did look around in the front yard. That's it. Okay. Uh, enter house. We don't use key. Open door. Don't make him play Damnation. Oh, no. We haven't played that in a while. That was very mean. All of you were very mean to me. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking Death Damnation. You're talking about the album Damnation by Opeth. Carry on, Fry. Hey, mister, I can't tell how long is left. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, flick switch, flip switch on, turn on switch, turn on light, you flick the switch, you fucking... <laughs> okay, go to kitchen. Look around. Oops. Very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Um, break down utility door. Of course not. And we know the utility room is locked, but if we do go to utility room, door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Exit. Well, look around is looking for every... If I look for a particular item, I don't think it's going to work as well. Because it could be other things too. But look around covers all the bases. Go to living room. I misspelled it because I'm dumb as fuck. 
yeah, the way that these games are typically made, Laser, is you keep it very... Um... It's, it's kind of blunt. Like, you have to... Um, not, not blunt. You have to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not holistic. Fuck. It'll come to me. Broad. Yes, maybe that's the word. Yeah. It's like, you want... You have to... You as a player have to keep it broad because you're trying to hit, like, a different area because that's what they're going to try to be doing as developers is, like, let's make it, like, something that's an umbrella term that covers multiple things. Um, like, that's why they also provided, like, the few, like, help commands. That, like, not help commands, but those are, like, the verbs to help with. Because they can't cover every single thing that you could type in there. Uh, but then again, they couldn't get us out of this glitch, so who knows? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Look around the living room. There's nothing here of interest. Exit. Gotta get a wait. 1,000 ifs later. Yeah, for real. God. Uh, go upstairs. If they honestly did it with loot, like loops like that, that's so dumb. I right, don't look at the pictures. I'm not gonna do anything. Go downstairs. Can we get the little clip? Nope. You don't have to do anything. You go once you walk upstairs, the game's dead. So that explains why they have this option then. Where is it? Right here. Unlock all levels. I feel like I should because, like, we can't get past this. But I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't because if it's supposed to... I thought these are four different short stories. But if it's just four different chapters, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to skip ahead like that. <sighs> yeah, I think we'll have to find something else to play. I just can't... Uh... I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Beans, what the fuck? Beans, what the fuck? Um, so that sucks. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully in time, there'll be a fix for that. Um, probably not. It's been five years. They're definitely not going to go back to it. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to oh, say. It's time, baby. Yo, demon with the raid. Welcome to Demon. Oh, there it is. The one horror game he played. Cool, I'll move it for my wish list for now. No, oh, no, no, we're ending it here. Alright, it's been, it's, been, it's been two hours. Fuck this shit. Fuck this. It's already been two hours. We're going to raid someone. I don't care. I don't Welcome in, Demon. Yeah, I'm going to leave a poopy review right now before I forget. Cause that shit's dumb. Fact. Hey, watch along with me. I like how they were like, "Hey, trading cards are, are, came out June nineteenth, twenty twenty," and that was the the second to last comment in that forum was from February twenty twenty. <laughs> I got an achievement though. Look at that. Let me see what this guy did. You switch. Go upstairs. Go to my sister's room. Look around. Open wardrobe. Look at photos. Boom. Go back. Go to my room. Interrupt gift. Enter. Set, set up computer. I did that. I didn't have a space. Play game. A cutscene plays. Okay. Let's do that. Let's try to get that.
Damn, you know that bet I got Dono walled? You didn't get Dono walled. What? It's that bad that it was the next game on the list. No, I I think I'm going to try to get through this and see if that's just... Because that's the one thing that was that kept breaking. Once you get past that, I didn't see anything bitching about anything afterwards. So remember, set space up space computer. Not set dash up. Not set up. Set space up. We'll try that. And once we go upstairs, don't go back down. Okay. Ten months, Chucky Boy. God damn. It's... I know. I appreciate you. Set space up. I'm going to fucking punch you right in the dick, Knox. Right in the dick. I'm go fucking relaunch it. I was about to leave a shitty review, and I was like, let me look at one real quick thing. Whoops. Someone actually wrote a fucking walkthrough. Unbelievable. Not much will change when I am gone. That's right, enough of that. We here though. All right. Third time we get this song, and it's still a banger. It's not country music, no. Yes, you can, Creepy. If you want to DM me your friend ID, I will send you an invite. I want Jam to dance to this. You sent it first? Oh, okay. Well, thank you for asking. I mean, you could have just sent it, but thank you. There it is. Thanks, Knox. This fucking thing again. It's awful. You know, I like to be respectful and nice. I know you do. Oh my god, make it stop. <laughs> Take back some machine. Alright. Open glove box. So you get the key and the handwritten note. We don't have to read the note again. Exit car. No, that's not a dying PC demon. That was like what it sounded like to upload things back in the day. When you, to get on the internet, you had to go through the phone line... You weren't always connected to the internet. <laughs> I'm going to stop while I'm behind at this point. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Go to Garden. Oh, man of the days. Back when I was playing Doom OG. You couldn't make a call and be on the internet at the same time. Yeah, for real. We're old jugged. No, we're just we're we're highly ranked uh humans in Dungeons and Dragons. That's what we are. <laughs> Fucking AOL. <laughs> uh start generator. What? Oh. Look around. There we go. Start generator. I'm not doing set space up. Okay, uh, go to front yard. Oh, I got really scared there for a second. Use key. Open door. Oh God, I never forget the one time I was playing Doom. It was Doom on Windows 95 with my neighbor across the street from me through the phone line. We were playing co-op mode. And all of a sudden, I just hear through the through the uh, computer monitors that were attached on the sides of the monitor. Oh, uh, hello? Hello, who is this? 
it's my mom trying to make a phone call and I hear her through the fucking computer and I'm like, Mom! Mom, hang up the fucking phone! <laughs> trying to play Doom! <laughs> my first email was 2.5. I had dial-up until I was almost done with high school. You poor fuck. Playing games with dial-up was so awful. Oh, that is... Oh, no. I'm so sorry. So this game, Demon, is called Stories Untold and it's supposed to be four short stories. Um, apparently they're all connected or we're meant to play them in sequential order. Um, we've kind of got through a bunch of this, but there was a, a part where I, I couldn't type anymore and there's actually a known bug and I kept hitting it. But we found a way around it. Uh, turn switch on. Oh, excuse me. Turn light on. Fuck. Software you're playing COD for a PC. Oh, dude, that's so bad. Is there anyone you would buy a PC game if you didn't have a certain Windows package you were fucking because it would take four days to download? Yep. My ping latency was so bad. Dude, they didn't even measure you in fucking ping latency. They, they just called it delay, I bet. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, we don't have, have to do anything downstairs. Let's just go upstairs. I'm going to go into the, uh, the sister's room and look around. Oh, we don't really have to, because we already got the achievement. Go to my room. Uh, something I need to know about a PC. Those are the old days, demon. Windows isn't like that anymore. Uh, open gift. And it's the computer that we're sitting on. Typing simulator? No. This is what games used to be like, man. Well, minus the picture. Like, I remember playing text games when I was younger. Um, but this is like, you're going back to your house and you found this old computer. So you set it up and you're like, oh, I want to play this game. Back when Windows 95 to 2000, the fucking dumpster fires of OSs. 95 and 98 were not terrible. Um, Windows ME, hot fucking trash. That was bad. That was very, very bad. The worst I've ever seen. Love Space Quest, shit's bomb. Oh, word. You had to read the back of old CDs and floppy disks to make sure you had the right stuff or it wouldn't run. Yeah, it's true. So, set space up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. Okay, there we go. Here's all set ready to go. There's a game here too. Look at game. It's a new horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace, which is the game we're currently playing. Pinball. Yeah. Maybe I was awful. You can't fucking convince me otherwise. I didn't use it for much, dude. I used it to play fucking Doom and download Keenan and Kel theme song off of Nick.com or AOL keyword Nick. Yeah, the 98 pinball game was uh, Space Cadet. It was fucking good. Windows XP SP3 is the pinnacle of operating systems, though. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. The XP years were probably the best they had. Uh, new update for our school laptop or so shit. Oh, I bet. You probably have, like, fucking... What's out now? Is it 12? All right, so we're going to do play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play, which is what we've already done here. So... Hello? Fuck! Bullshit. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Intel Quadro. Intel Core 2. Duo. <laughs> Mommy? This is different now. Hold on. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Open glove box. Who the fuck? Spawn. 
fucking bastard. Demonic, what's up? Welcome in. It says, a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read dad note. You won't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out the car, get out of 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 the car. Okay, I want to get out of the car, please. 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 Exit car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. And all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. What the fuck happened with this game? How you doing, bro? He owes the scares. Don't touch that dial now. Don't touch that dial now. Oh, God, no. Not that again. Please, no. Uh, go. Uh, look, look around first. Look around. Go to yard. Get the fuck up. Oh, sorry. Step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note. You need to look around. Clutch the note. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. Okay. Start. Don't gen touch the dial now. Don't touch the dial now. God don't touch the dial now. Imagine don't touch the dial now. 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 Oh, you guys probably now. have a problem. To I'm sorry you can't read that. I'll try to read it more. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. The light fucking turned on. When I entered start generator. What the fuck? Okay. Go to front yard. Oh, sorry. So we're going to go through the front door now. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Gross. Open door. You reluctantly step inside the front door pitch black but your senses are punished more by the smell of stale air and damp this cannot be less inviting the note burns in your hands you feel compelled to read it over and over read dead note it's too dark to read but it feels weird to the touch oh god uh turn light on afraid of what you might see you flick the light switch the lights flicker on and off the walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse there are stains and trails all over the carpet Stop, stop, please. What the fuck? It's time to stop. <laughs> Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal. And there's a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall. The utility room door has a red X painted on it. it seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Read wall. Fuck. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. That was an achievement unlocked for 1968. Get it? Because the clock said stop. Oh my god. Uh, go to utility room door is locked I can't get in there not yet okay step back to the hall where your shoes are wet oh okay so we go to the living room now enter the living room the living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look around. Shoes are so wet. Run down and empty. Abandon it and for good reason. Oof. Exit room. Return to the hallway. Oh, 
Oh shit, it says 1986 on the fucking wall now. That's wonky. So fucking wet. Uh, go upstairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister. Sister's room. Your room in the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. But something is different. Oh. Uh, pick up phone. Voice is spelled of the phone into the room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do, whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up phone. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room. Your room in the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. But something is different about them. Look at pictures. Picture of your family. The eyes have been sc scored out on all. Oh my god. Uh, go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Jesus. Go to bathroom. Go to the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The thing is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Gross. Look around. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Exit. Step back onto the landing. Uh, I didn't look around in the hallway yet. Technically. Landing is bare and worn. Photos adorned. The wall all misaligned. Yeesh. Go to my room. Oh boy, here we go. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Oh, 19... Yeah, oh. Uh, enter 1986. Uh, unlock with 1986. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1986. Oh, God. Yo, Power, what up, dude? Welcome in. Enter my room. The door is closed. Open door. You open the bed. Look around. The landing is... No, I can't look from here. Jesus. The device of Laser Lady and added a throne thing for Twitch. Very nice. Currently getting my overlays right now. Cool. I've seen, I've heard some people use Throne. I haven't really looked into it that much. Should I? Or, like, I don't... I don't even know what it is. Like, oh, no. I think... I think I got candy, like... Uh... Like a face mask or something. Because she does her face mask Mondays. Yes, bro, get Throne. Yes, do it. Okay, well, alright, fine. <laughs> um... Enter my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Look around. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. I have a rice cooker on mine. Oh. Gift you for our baby shower. Oh. I'm actually smart throw right now. It's really easy to set up. Oh, that's good. I'll have to look into it then, guys. Thank you. I appreciate the uh, the heads up. Um, talk to me. Um, what do we do? Nope. Edge closer, okay. Nope. Creepy, it's a seahorse. We don't know the gender. <laughs> Read dad note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. 
There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. I am not pathetic. Oh, please, stop. No, you. It was all my fault. Say it. No, you. Just say it. No. Just say it. No. No, 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 no. Say what? It. 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 <laughs> Fine, I am pathetic. No, you. It. Seahorse, her name is Mystery, of course. Reset clock. I am worthless? Is that what I'm supposed to say? What do I say? Fine. Yes. It. And. Exit. Oh. It was my fault. It was your fault. I did it. I'm an asshole. Game sucks. Let me go back to this fucking goddamn. What does this guy say I have to do? Yeah, I'm supposed to do it was all it was all my fault. It was my fault. Oh, okay. Oh, he's moving. Finally. Hello? That's why I did try that. So that was when we were playing a game in the old house. And then we were in the game, started the game, went inside the house and saw ourselves. Uh, confusion. Oh, God damn it. Hi, Candy. <laughs> That's it for episode one. I'm sure it picks up. It's supposed to build some start and then in each of the episodes it builds off the story. That's my understanding. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, okay. Um, oh, it's quarter of 12. We definitely would squeeze out another one. Maybe even episode three as well. Who knows? Candy. Okay. Oh, we're hitting this fucking track again? Let's go! Squeeze another one. Oh, God. Boop, 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 boop. This is subject 12-19-86-23, new session entry. We have myself, mm. Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber. Artifact 23. From crash site B. <clears throat> At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Agent, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Okay. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so 
always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay. Experiment 1. Internal analysis. Subject J1986MEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Uh, M. And help. Press the keys bracket in the top menu to move between pages. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Okay. So the manual says, so first of the experiment says, subjects close and solve the lays. X-ray the artifact. So we need to X-ray the artifact first. Uh, just electromagnetic spectrum. Acquired apparatus camera. Monitor set to X-ray. Charge UC86 X-ray device. TV input modes R3, IR, XR. R3 equals RGB full color. IR equals infrared. XR equals X-ray. Okay. We haven't had a good day. No you. All right, let's wheel on over. So what's this thing? What can I do here? And it turns on and off. That's a camera. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I want. Oh, x-ray, okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, Nox woke up super late today. <laughs> and you slept, Zonum slept in too? Damn. All right, so I've got it on x-ray. Whatever the fuck this thing is. I'm assuming it does the audio. Yeah, because RL, input, output. Digital signal generator. Variable laser generation unit. Fuck, what did I do? Oh, it charged something. X oh the X-ray trigger unit. Okay. Are we doing X-ray data? Okay. How long is this gonna fucking take? Whatever this game is, I like it. This one's a lot better than the first episode, that's for sure. Blowing up items isn't good, but taking my first station on people and smite is great. That's true. Super retro, I like it. Yeah, for sure. All right. Oh. Monitor. So, required ever is camera. If you are ever unsure of what to do, reread the experiment and consult the manual. It will guide you Got it. So, X so TV input mode is X-ray, XR. Camera is on. Monitor set to X-ray. We did. Charge CC86 X-ray device. Oh, hold up. Let me shut this thing off. So we got camera. Monitors on X-ray. The thing is, what do I... What's this charging thing, though? Well, also, you know what? It didn't tell me to turn this on yet. Oh, it's green. There we go. I had too many things on. The X-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material. The first episode had a really bad bug in it. 
Full output power. Speed. We had to restart twice. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Press enter to receive new experiment task. Sure. Experiment two, service reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. Okay. So you want to do two, which is the concentrated light laser. Safety instructions, that's stupid. I should probably read these things. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Whoops, do not leave the container unattended during experimentation. It's extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow all instructions exactly. Okay. Uh, let's do equipment layout. I see, okay, so this, so the lasers at the bottom right, signal generator, the amp, the TV unit, camera, test chamber, oh, that's a drill, okay, whoops, CC86 X-ray, we figured that one out, monitors, and sync master, okay, cool. Yeah, the glitch was a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> Laser is in every game, probably. Oh, you would have loved Jug and I played Mass Deception then. Oh, God. Yeah, that was uh, that was unfortunate. Required apparatuses. The LZR2 light generator set wavelength and the monitor set to RGB. Okay, let's set the monitor to RGB first because that's fucking simple. And R3 is RGB, which you've confirmed before um, from the previous uh, experiment. And then there's, they want us to use red. We need 650 NM on the laser light. Boom, baby. Yeah, I'm mega addicted to Twitch right now. Haha, <laughs> I probably would have just rage quit. <laughs> Relatable. That's a heart. That's a laser. Smashing into the heart. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Wh which one? Okay. Experiment 2B. Use the green laser. Green laser is 510. Okay. Simple enough. Weird. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Okay. Let's keep going. Increase again. Yes, sir. Blue laser. Blue is 455. My word. Candy, say hi to me. <laughs> Heart starter achievement unlocked. It seems we have a pulse. Yeah. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Push further, he says. Experiment three, resonant frequency. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz uh, uh, sine, is it, is it sign? I feel like that's two words smashed together. Sign's supposed to be S-I-N. Sign wave with the amplifier gain set to 1. Okay. Am I an asshole? No. Son of a bitch, that sounds giving me goosebumps. <laughs> so we have to do the acoustic resonance. So required apparatus, the signal generator, set frequency and waveform, and amplifier, set gain. That's it. So we need to go over here. We'll do the set gain first. So first off, shut that off. We don't need it. Um, we also don't, it doesn't say we need this on. We need the this on set to one. That looks like one. 
And then this needs to be on, oh, what's the frequency? I forgot. Shit. 250. How is it not one? Amplifier gain set to one. 250 hertz, we got that. Uh, have a lovely evening, Mr. Spore. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate you, my dude. And uh, thanks again for the reset, but I, seriously, it's fucking amazing. Um, having you here and being as and being super supportive too like holy fuck because he could have properties and object we got the the we got the wave right what the fuck spore You've been very good, Meg. Thank you. Yeah, play yourself off. See you later. Diablo, what's up? Welcome in, my friend. How have you been? I love you too, Spore. Have a lovely evening. We have the right wave. It's like the, it's the S on its side, not the square, not the sawtooth. Single generator is on, setting frequency and waveform. And the amplifier is to set the gain, which we have it correct here. The display is 0, 5, 10, 2.5 in the middle, so this is one, that first line. That's just, I don't know if I'm lining it up right. This is 250 hertz. That's the right wave. Oh. Wait, what is this? There has to be something else that's on that should not be on. Because I annoyed Jugs last stream. You didn't annoy me. Sick but surviving? Oof. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Just playing this interesting game for sure. Y'all know that myself and Jug are going to be doing a co-stream soon. It'll be a tickle fight. Oh, my word. Whoever peace first loses, bro, you're losing. I got a fucking steel trap for a bladder. You're fucked. <laughs> Jug acts like he doesn't. He loves keyboard catch. He sets so. Don't listen to what Word Tree tells you. You'd watch it. Oh, absolutely. I know you would. <laughs> Straight suck the piano. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess with me I'm playing too much Elden Ring while sick though oh I feel that zone him to stop <laughs> I swear that's a one it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you see you don't need the monitor on camera's off Go right back to the manual then. Required apparatus. Signal generator to set frequency and waveform. We've set the uh, frequency at 250 hertz. The waveform is, is uh, a sign. 
Amplifier is turned on. We've set the gain to one. Just as the experiment asked for, test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with the amplifier gain set to one. So the middle one here, that's a sine wave, 250 hertz, and we've turned on this fucker to one. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Anything the tree says that is against you, we believe. <laughs> Great. Seeing that made me hurt a bit. <laughs> One minute and 19 seconds. Meg, stop it. This fuck are you talking about me? I don't think so. Hey, Clicking Cat, welcome in. How you doing? Happy to have you on this evening. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is on right now that's not supposed to be on like this thing here is the uh pretty sure it was the x-ray but i can't turn it off The machine or something? How the hot sauce has been lately? Ah, uh, pretty good. Yes, misbehave now, Meg. No. Thanks. Glad to catch you again. Yeah, happy to have you. <laughs> Given the circumstances of the cat. Okay, talk to me. What's going on? Uh, yeah, it is a puzzle game. So, here's what we need to do. We have to make sure only the things the experiment asks for are actually used. If anything extra is being used, it's not good. We're not... Um, 100% in sync with what they want us to do. Are you sure camera is off? Yeah. I'll show you. When I press it up here, watch the red light turn on. See? Press it again. Turns off. So, we want to test the acoustic resonance properties of the object that's in that machine. We're going to begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with the amplifier gain set to 1. So in the manual for acoustic resonance, number three, required apparatuses, the only things that should be on is the signal generator and the amplifier. So we'll start with that. Signal generator and amplifier. This is the signal generator, it's right here. Here's the amplifier, cool. The laser is shut off, the monitor shut off, the camera shut off, the drill shut off, the X-ray um, trigger unit is shut off. The sync master, this would uh, flash green if we were good to go. But what is this? Why is this on? Let me go check the manual for that. Monitors. Is there another fucking monitor somewhere? So it says, uh, Therm 1 okay, Therm 2 okay, C okay. I want to keep that off, though. Going to go get ready for work tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, Meg. Have a lovely evening. Appreciate you. Yeah, I hope you have a good day at work. Uh, also, is your Gizmatron on sign? Uh, it is. So that symbol there, the uh, like sideways S, is, this is um, the top one is square, bottom one is sawtooth, middle one is sign. It says that in the manual as well. Candy never stops laughing. What's that gray thing in the middle? That's the machine. Inside of there is a currently beating heart. So if I go back here, the waveform type sign again is that like sideways S versus the square and sawtooth. So I don't want to touch that. So that's right where it needs to be. 250 hertz. It's good to go. Signal generator has the set frequency and waveform. Good. The amplifier is also on. The amplifier is this guy right here. The small dude here. That's it. 
and this is on this is on okay and this line here the the reading here is zero to five to ten and they actually do that in the manual here amplifier display and there it is so every one line is a one so zero one two technically two and a half is right here three four five six seven eight nine ten so it wants us to do per the experiment amplifier gain set to one so I look over here, it looks like it's on a one. I'll, I'll turn it down to zero, okay? We all agree that's zero. Uh, start again, since you mentioned it. The machine on the bottom left cannot be turned off. Yes, so the sync master has to stay on because it's going to flash green when we've reached um, a sync with the master, hence why it's called that. This thing here, the monitors, there's no switches anywhere to shut them off at all. I've tried clicking on every little surface I can there and there's no power behind it. I don't know. It's very strange. Um, right, but so over here, um, I'm not sure if there's other monitor or something in there. Middle almost looks like a camera. Yeah, so up top here, that is a video camera. See how it turns red? And now it's off. It's so obnoxious though. It's amazing. <laughs> the stop. Uh... Yeah, you, well, you do have to turn everything off. Um, if you have something extra on, it doesn't work. They made that clear in their instructions. But the problem is, is there's no way to shut it off. Physically, no way. Unless I, like, unplug these things. No. I can't unplug them. Let's play Ghost Watch together and cackle at the ghosts. Oh, God. I think this monitor is for the heart that's in there. Because it's giving me, like, thermometer readings. C could maybe, like, charge or something like that. I don't know pace on like a like a pacemaker Mr. Asian, please refer to the manual if you're having any difficulty calibrating the equipment green button bottle doesn't do anything no it needs to be there's a flashing green light that goes off and then we press it that means we're good so if I move this up to one you think that would be good That green light never fucking goes on. They gotta make you laugh the entire time. Oh God. So, I'm just not following this. That definitely even hurts, not like micro hurts or anything. Slow change from 0 0.1 millihertz, megahertz to, hertz to 200 kilohertz. So we're not even in the kilohertz section yet. And let's make sure it's it's actually, it is hertz, HC. Okay, so it's not like KHC. It's a good point to make. Yeah, hide behind the carrot, always.
Yes, I'm not sure if this is something that's broken as well with the game. Um, let me take a look. See, we were talking experiment three. Press tab to get the equipment screen. Switch the oh, it's the laser. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, that's shut it off. Switch the laser off. Yep. Switch signal generator on. Click on the round silver button to hold and move your mouse upwards till it reaches 250 HC. It does. Click the silver slider to put in this, uh, the sinus wave. It's the sine wave, middle symbol, did it. Switch the amp on, click on the round button to hold and move your mouse upwards till you reach the first line of the display scale. Did that. The sync match will start blinking green. Press the big green button. Okay, pal. We did that. Why do I have to change the hertz, though? It's 250. Isn't that what it tells me to do? 250. I did exactly what... The workaround, the workaround, the walkthrough So, said. again, don't let my lyrics mislead you. I don't love you, but I need you. Would you rather have me like take a piece of your pie and say by all be honest and rub your thighs? Rico, suave, Rico, suave. Suave. Yeah, this is it, one. This is it, 250 hertz. Sign off, off, off. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. Fry. Drills off, charges off. So, what initiates is this green button supposed to flash when you have it right, and it's not flashing. Thanks, Wheeler. Fuck off, Knox. <laughs> Bitch fucker. It was so loud. Yeah, tell me about it. Sorry. You're not even fucking sorry. <laughs> Ass hoke. <sighs> That's it, back for I must be anonymous. <laughs> Welcome in, tree. So that's what they call, so it's called monitors, and I think it's the monitors because inside of this machine is a heart that we actually started with the concentrated laser light. Um, so you do equipment layout, yeah, you'll see the drills on top, the CC86 x-ray with like the switch left and right is there, and then there's the monitors, which is just above the sync master. So see here's sync master, monitors, CC86, the drill, camera, chamber, mod, uh, the TV screen, amplifier, signal generator, and the uh, laser generation unit as well. Okay, can I see the goal? Sure. Is there anything else you could do around the area with the green computer? Uh, not that I could find. Help gives you the same thing every time. The manual we've looked at safety instructions and equipment layout. Um, the experiment is to test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with the amplifier gain set to one. And that's number three, acoustic resonance. Required apparatus, again, just the signal generator. You set the frequency, which we've done, that's 250 hertz. In the waveform, we have selected sine. And it's turned on. The amplifier's turned on. We've set the gain with the amplifier display at that first dash to be one. Phone a friend style. Ah. Want to jump in the Discord? <laughs> uh, I'm just taking a shot in the dark. Five, maybe? I mean, I... So... Clicking cat. So I technically... 
went over here and I did this. Well, I'll need to zoom out. So just watch the sync master and see if it changes color. I guarantee you it doesn't. I'll be going very slow. And we're at 10. So I'll, I'll go to five for S's and G's. No. That clicked into one that time. So we weren't supposed to turn the cameras or the monitors off. Which is dumb because it says to only use the things it calls for. Because this, these two things were, I shut them off thinking that was the right thing to do. Okay, fine. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. <clears throat> All right, next one. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Increase the frequency to 500 hertz, sine wave, and amplifying, amplifier gain of five. I mean, if they just say keep these two things on at all times, I'm fine. I can live with that. We never get to learn anything. <laughs> Five hundred. Don't kill me. Seeing some fluctuations in activity should they increase to the risk of damage. What about the volunteer? Volunteer. Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. All right, we're doing it again. This time with a square wave, maintaining 500 hertz, and gain five. So just change to square. Okay. Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I'd say so. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust them. Sure thing, bro. As long as I'm getting paid, or someone is. Maintain the gain 5 in the square wave. Bring the waveform frequency up to 1 kilohertz. Oh, boy. F is right. This is a long way up. It's going to fucking explode. I'm going to explode. So the intro to Spy Hard when Weird Al Yankovic does the theme song. You're watching Spy Hard. It's the theme to Spy Hard. You're watching Spy Hard. <laughs> Great movie. You haven't seen it. Oh boy. You did what? You made the heart explode. You've made it Does that make us mark the background? It is. Now we need you to stay fuck, what the fuck? To relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate. Some and of the boom goes the dynamite. So alleviate some of the discomfort. Bro. The protective casing is off. Proceeded to, to the drill surface. Jeez. 
Okay. Switch the drill on and show all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. Okay. It says it there. If they put that into number three as well, we're good. When ready, trigger sync master is normal to begin drill insertion. Okay. Just leave those two things on. Turn this on. Sync it. And boom goes me. Really? I've been talking about your heart this whole time. Maybe. But the heart exploded in this. There was something in it. How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. But do you? Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Bro, why are we still working? Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Bro. Is there a manual for this? Safety instructions. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. And please ensure your next of kin is updated HR. Great. I ain't ready. No, so the heart exploded, but there was a sphere in it afterwards. It was just hard to see. What the fuck? I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Have to know what? Have to know what? How difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. Remember what? Can I look around? Not really. Oh, is this like a... <laughs> entity's core new data connection ready okay i'm looking into it show me that shit show me that shit oh, i have to click and hold okay oh my fuck what is this the ring Conscious butt pox. Memory retrace. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity. You for wait a minute. Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Okay. Seven days. <laughs> you wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Um, go through hole. Memory action unavailable. Command not recognized. I can't do tab here. Can you give me some help, sir? Anything else you can give me some ideas? No? Okay, great. I saw on TikTok, I'll call it Cryopod. Twitch channel said, hi, I got fucking banned. What did I do? Nox, you're, you're just shit tier. That's all it is. You're shit tier human being and people just ban you. <laughs> you know I'm kidding. A good movie to watch in Discord. True. Insert myself into hole. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Um, you 
go up. Look around. Ah! The gravity is broken beyond repair. There's nothing. There, There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight. Computer terminal adjacent blinks. Go to computer. You are now stood next to the computer terminal. Laser, you got it. Wow, well, that's a chat you don't want to be in then. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Tell them about your speed fetish. <laughs> They'd be fine. Turn on computer. Okay. Access computer. Look at computer. The monitor blinks, demanding attention. System looks usable. Use computer. You tap the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Go into... Oop. To airlock. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. Was it their leader? Like a three for this game. Oh my god. See what else is high. <laughs> enhance, enhance. <laughs> god, good reference. <laughs> Thanks. Love the loving community. <laughs> Twice banning people. Dun dun dun. New data connection ready. Let's go and connect. What the fuck was that? You squeeze the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Miss Asian, please continue. We're going. Crash light smoke billows from the drowned ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you can see unfamiliar star patterns. Look at stars. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Thanks. Uh, close airlock. Wow. Okay. Um, get in vehicle. For fuck's sakes, man. Listening, reading chat, and playing Dinkum, then I borrowed from Knox. Nice. <sighs> Look at lights. The lights are blinding. You can make out silhouettes, but you will need to move some of the surrounding wreckage for a better view. Okay, move wreckage. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you will move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look into light. You squint at the light, trying to shield your visor lens at the same time. There's a circle of artificial lights set up around you to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out of silhouette and walks towards you. Receive. Silhouette. Pat my head and rub my tummy. Gotta get some sleep for work tomorrow. Power, thank you for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for the assistance, too. A couple of good little hints here and there are nice. Appreciate you, bud. Uh, have a lovely night's sleep tonight. I hope your day tomorrow goes splendid. Um, and if you guys are not following Codename Power, well, what are you fucking doing? Why is Stream Deck still broken for that? I like being able to do shoutouts on my own and not having to bother my mods to do it. If one of the mods could handle a shoutout to Codename Power, that would be super appreciated. And a shoutout Stream Deck and punch him. Music and laughter. Please, little bear. Don't do anything. And of course, it's, uh, that fucking whole thing is slow as shit right now. 
And thank you for giving me that one as well. If you're not following Power, please do so. At the top of your chat screen, there should be a little follow heart. You can just click it. Virtually. Boom. Done. Fuck. Twy MVP. Why the fuck do I sound like an idiot? I am... Uh, it's probably because the... It's so dumb. I don't know why it takes so long to get a shout out sometimes from the endpoint. Like, I pay to be able to have the better features, and yet it just gets stuck. <laughs> All right, there it was. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys don't know Codename Power, um, he actually is like a world-renowned voice oh God, actor dude. now. <laughs> um, but uh, he got his start right over here at Channel 13 on YouTube. Way, way. Good God. Please make sure you uh, subscribe to Channel 13 Horror on YouTube if you have not. The link's right there. And if you feel extra generous, they have a Patreon for those monthly subscriptions with cool little incentives, uh, as well as a uh, one-time tip link to Breakfast at Noon, their uh, official video editor. Appreciate you. And Soma's here with the shoop de whoop Soma, how are you? Hope your stream went well earlier. Autograph, please, sir. <laughs> uh, approach person. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. Wow, so we're going to die soon, is what you're telling me? Awesome. Can't wait. Experimental science? Oh god damn it. Soma. Uh Thank you everybody. PP. What the fuck? <laughs> Twitch mobile is cancer. <laughs> True. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Move as one. Okay. Look around. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. We didn't put this empty in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? What the fuck? When did this happen? Look at writing. Stuck together are a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. I don't know what it is. Interesting. Nothing without you all. Oh, stop it, power. Stop it. Have a good night, buddy. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> Um, look at display monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers and rhythm. Okay. Um, pull out wires. What just happened? What's that alarm? We ain't get the wires printing from our chest. <coughs> what the fuck? This thing is giving me memories from a different core to escape. Holy fuck. We ain't get the wires printing from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This actor sets off an alarm echoing lie down the adjacent corridor. Um, get off alarm. No, okay. We'll do a look around. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with, okay. Stand up. Get up. Open door. Stop. Specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. Fuck. Oh my god. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. It's so beautiful. What the what? Fuck. Oh. 
Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and the lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Mr. Asian, it is using you to control the other entities remotely. Please do not continue. You must cooperate with us. Then come get me out of here. Uh, look around. There's some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. The other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a tablet, a table holding only a small device taken from your It's My Hour ship. Look at device. There's an access code terminal for a wide connection allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only UI we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. Use codes. What is that? Seen that before. What is it doing? Arrow keys up, down, select you row. We were coming from the touchback. It's in our system, but sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. What am I sending? Uh, Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We have to know more. It sounds a very and screechy, now, yeah. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Are we trying to match them? I don't really know what this is trying to do. Oh boy. So I need this thing like that. That one. Looks like this right here. But that's not super helpful. What are these other symbols? I don't even see them on here. It's the same symbols too. What's this? Ah. Oh. Can you please tell me exactly what that was again? I can't see all that. Alright, that stays at 8. The first one stays at 8. I saw that. I need the two box ones. Two box... I saw it. Looks like a V of some sort. Could be this one, I think. Yeah, it was. Okay. <clears throat> it's kind of showing me. Yeah. So, 7... Seven degrees. Looks like a Z. That one. It has a diamond top right hand corner. Got it. <coughs> oh shit. Yeah, okay, I forgot that's where you were standing. Oh shit. We could be friends, right? I helped you guys out. Please? Please? I liked you guys. I liked you a lot. I, I helped you. I'll look closer into your eye. Here I go.
to haunt you. God damn. All right, so that would a couple little moments where I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? And it was like a little bit more communication or some text would have been perfect. <laughs> Otherwise, that was a fun little story. Um, I liked the concept of it too. That was a good fun. Yeah, they weren't really related at all. I think they just want you to play them in a row for whatever reason. Maybe they tie in later to each other. All right, here we go, zone them. I just realized that um, hot sauce counter was off as well. I mean, the hot sauce counter, the fucking spin counter. Supposed to be at nine. Because we were at eight to start. Oh, God, here And it, it was comes. a resub. Oh, hot, 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 God hot. God damn it. Hot, 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 No. <laughs> Quiet. I'm fixing your mistake. Okay. Um, let's see. <clears throat> 1240. What do you think? Do we start episode three? Where there's I'm potentially bad. no saves. AA Ron is two months old. L M A O. <laughs> L M A O. A A Ron. Holy shit, Candy. 11 months. Thank you so much. Um, okay. So this brings us to uh, an interesting crossroads. I think at this point now. Um, We'll stop playing this for now because we're getting towards the end of the stream and I don't want to start episode three just for us to have to restart it anyways because there's no saves. At least in the first two episodes, there's been no saves. They're very short experiences. Um, so I'll do episode three and four uh, next stream for sure. So that's going to be Thursday. Uh, but for now, for now, We have, I'm sorry, juggling the baby, not me. Oh, God. Um, yes, it is 100% bean time. Um, so I'm excited. And this is the perfect song for it because I'm going to be feeling terrible the whole time as I do it. Only ashes. <clears throat> okay. Bean turn time. We're going to do a bean and then I'm getting the hell out of here. That's how it's going to work. Let's reset the counter. Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. I'm also excited. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's the sugar knock, bitch. Off to bed, jogging. Everyone, see you next time. Creepy, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I appreciate you. Um, I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Um, and I'll be sure to uh, jump into your stream next. Um, also, if everyone, if if I could have a mod, give Creepy Pistero twenty seven a shout out as well. Creepy is an awesome uh, horror streamer, super friendly. Um, and you can get her to scream at anything. Just blow the air horn in her fucking ear and she screams. It's great. Let's listen. <laughs> Beans, what the fuck? Oh, my bad. Ah! <laughs> like so I said. Low, I knew you were going to do that, Joey. God damn. <laughs> if you're not following Creepy, please go ahead and hit that heart button at the top of your chat. As you see right now. <laughs> that scream was very good. <laughs> Thanks for being amazing. No, you, Soma. Good God. <laughs> I'm already like getting myself worked up over here. All right, here we go. It's always two. All right, Alexa, change the office light to white. Okay. Oh, God damn it. We've done this one before, um, but it's still going to be gross, I think. 
it i believe this one to be although it's not really as black as this one it's either going to be liver and onions or cappuccino bean elevator red death Seeing this here, it's always two beans <laughs> for sure. Yeah, so Soma, these are so the jelly beans. You'll notice two of them are the same color. They're virtually identical when you look at them. However, when you taste them, they have different flavors. Um, so for instance, this one is either gonna be cappuccino or liver and onions. The last time we did one, it was either gonna be pomegranate or old bandage, and it was old bandage. Uh, the first time was the best one. It was either berry blue or toothpaste. We got toothpaste, which tasted like spearmint. It was fine. By far the worst one was either strawberry banana smoothie or what I unfortunately got, dead fish. It was it was bad. <laughs> Liver and I use yum too. I eat quiet candy. <laughs> I saw two of them probably up at the same time. Yeah. It says dare to compare, and I'm like, I'm not doing two at the same time. That's fucked. Eat Satan's two beans. No. Dead fish. What? Yeah, it tasted just like dead fish. It was bad. All right. So anyways, it's either liver and onions or cappuccino. Here we go. Cheers to you all, sick fuckers. Ah, it's liver and onions. It doesn't taste bad. It's just weird. But like my breath afterwards smells really bad. Meat bean. <laughs> there may not be any nice beans in here. Alexa, change the office light to red. <laughs> Alexa, change the office light to red. She doesn't listen to me. Um, so yeah, that was fun um, tonight with uh, the can uh, Cannibal Abduction. I thought that was a really good game. Um, really enjoyable all the way through. I didn't have to look anything up. Yeah, we played time was in, uh, 104 minutes, but I think that was a little... like I had the game running before we started streaming and whatnot. It was probably... An hour and 15 tops, I guess. It was good. And this dropped on January 13th, so technically four days ago now. Highly recommend. Um, store page, how much is it going for right now? Oh, $4.49 until the end of January 20th. And then it goes back to $4.99. So it's like a $5 game. USD, that is. Yeah, she's getting sassy, Satan. They've all been being bamboozled, correct? Yeah, Satan, you like Panopticon? Awesome. Candy, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. I've got my review up here. I can type my review up a little bit later so I won't forget to. Because I like to leave uh, reviews. Um, even if it's not good, I, I need to, I like to be, you know, give constructive feedback and whatnot. Snow Burning Branch is my favorite Panopticon song. That is a good one. This, I loved this album because it was so different. Um, technically it was a double disc album. The first disc is your typical Panopticon album that black metal, bluegrass influences, whatnot. But this one is just sort of Americana. Um, and it's very good. I would love to see the relief on a streamer's face when they get a good tasting bean. You know, I I would gladly take toothpaste again. Toothpaste was very good. <laughs> very good. Oh my god. <clears throat> so I'm looking around at who we can uh jump into here and, and raid. And I'm thinking we may need to do a nice Raid Shadow Legends by raiding DT Fishboat. He's playing Jump King. Oh, man. That is a rage game and a half. 
fucking hilarious. Um, I think we may have to do that. That might be my dis. I think that's my decision for tonight. Um, but yeah. Uh, so next stream will be Thursday at nine p.m. Eastern. Same place, same time. Uh, we're going to finish up the second half of Stories Untold. Thank you, Twy. I hope you do as well. I hope you have a great night of sleep. Uh, and you wake up refreshed tomorrow. Thank you for being here, Candy. Thank you for being here, Laser. Like You don't have to thank me for streaming. I Thank yourselves for me streaming. Because otherwise, if you guys weren't here, I wouldn't be doing it. I hope you have a great night as well. Um, so we're done with stories untold. Um, it's a question of what we do after that. I think what I may do, because <laughs> there's a couple of games here we haven't touched yet. Perhaps because Creepy's been pushing for it a lot is Silence Channel. Maybe when we're done with stories untold, episodes three and four and the game's over, we will jump to Silence Channel. We'll at least start it. Depending on what time it is, of course. Sure, sure thing, Zonum. <coughs> okay. Let's go ahead and... All right, this song shits on Trump. It's pretty funny. Stream doesn't end until... I, I, P, I, P, B. What the fuck are you trying to tell me? Until I, P, B? Until I, peanut butter? Oh, they're watching some kind of weird video at the moment, too. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're doing. All right, good luck to Candy. She has her big uh, annual review tomorrow. Hope she crushes it. Personal best. Super Bible. That is horrifying. My God. There's deer talking about my idol like that. Hold on. I'm going to show you this. What? I don't know what's going on. Catholics go way harder with the crucifix then. <laughs> God. Fucking Riz. All right. Current PB. 755. Oh, personal best. Oh, thank you. So he wants to beat <coughs> his personal best. Current personal best is, I'm assuming that's 7 minutes 55 seconds. But yeah. Let's head over and enjoy whatever the fuck they're watching. And uh, playing some Jump King, trying to... Uh, trying to beat his uh his personal best in Jump King. I've never played it. I will eventually. I think about doing another channel point uh goal for Rage Stream Part Two. Um, down the line, got other things going on first. Anyways, appreciate you all. Let's kick off this uh this raid. Um, here comes the raid messages before Candy can ask for them. Uh, so the top line there is for subscribers with my uh, lovely face on it. If you're not a subscriber, that's okay. We have another line for you. Uh, just grab the uh, the red raid and pickaxe uh, generic emote there. And wow, the call out. Hey, candy. That's not even all of the all the links are even there. It died on the last one. See, so yeah, I get YouTube. We got uh, clips and vods going up there. TikToks. We'll have the short clips. Uh, Twitter. I update everything there with what's going on when I go live, so on and so forth. Plus, the memes are great. And also, we have a Discord. It's pretty awesome. Come join us if you haven't. And uh, you obviously can get <laughs> notifications of myself and other uh, friendly streamers uh, in our circle when they go live as well. I do get one of those jiggly emojis. Yes, you do. But uh, that's going to do it. We're going to go jump over to hang out with Detective Fishboat. DT Fishboat? Fishboat. Fish boat whoever he goes by that day uh please drop him a follow when you get there and um jiggle yeah. them juggles not today soma you gotta pay for that type of party goodbye everybody have a great tuesday <laughs>